Hey everybody, how's it going? So in my last video, a bunch of comments said, okay, Lewis, well, if you don't call that outdoor dining, what is outdoor dining? So I thought it may actually be fun to do a series of videos where we audit outdoor dining and just try to reintroduce to New York City and the, and the, the Trust the Science people what outdoor is and what outdoor isn't. So as you can see here, this is an outdoor dining structure. Now, if this car happens to crash, you know, this sucks for the people eating, but that's a different story altogether. As you can see, because my hands can reach inside of here, that means air can also reach inside of there. So that would be considered to be outdoors. Now, if I walk around over here, you can see that this is completely open, meaning that if I reach my hand in here, it goes in. So this is uh, outdoors. I mean, you have a tent at the top, and, but you, since you do not have walls over here, there's nothing that is really going to uh, keep that from being considered outdoors. It is a small, unwalled tent on a street. Now let's walk over here. So right across the street. What you have over here, this is New York, New York outdoors. So I would call what you see over there, that is actually outdoors. This is New York Trust the Science Outdoors. So what we have over here is an enclosed house on a street with no airflow. So this, this is the trifecta over here. So this is where there used to be a lane. And now instead of there being a lane, you now have this. So the cars over here could hit into it. But again, that is a topic for a different video. What you, this is a house. So as you could see, it, they made sure. Look at this. Erica. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? So you, you, have a, you actually have glass windows. You have a roof on the inside of this. Uh, over here, it's been sealed in. So just because this is not glass, this is some sort of uh, pla plasticky substance. Airflow. Airflow. Oh, oh, never mind. I'm wrong. Okay, here we go. It actually is outdoors. I don't think that was intentional, though. I think somebody may have broken the window. Are you sure? That looks like somebody broke the window. No, because you, you see, look, crack. Crack. That was not, unless that, unless they, you know, somebody uh, kept the hammer home that day. But this over here, this, if you have a door and the door is chained, and then you have a window, but the window has uh, this this stuff on it that blocks air, I'm pretty sure that this is what you would consider to be inside. This is inside, but outside. There is no difference between this and that except that this is way less to code. Okay, never mind. There's another broke. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look, it has a window. But here's the thing though. How, it, how is that more outdoors than just opening the window of the actual fucking restaurant? Like, tell me how that's more outdoor than just opening your window. But it's outside. It's outside the It's an restaurant. indoor, yeah, but once you go in there, now you're inside. You're, you're outside the restaurant, but once you walk through this door and you're on the other side of it and you're covered by this clear stuff that I forget the name of right now that blocks air and you have a window that blocks the air and you have a door that blocks the air and you have a roof and ceiling that blocks the air, you're then indoors. No, you're, you're, you're eating inside outdoor dining. This is outdoors, see? I'm outdoors, so this is on the street, so this is outdoor dining. Seems like Hawaiian and New York science uh, huh? sh share, share some. And plus, like I said, there's a lot of airflow. So share you know, some. You got a lot of airflow right here. See? See? The science. See? What? Delta dining. Hey, that's that's not the outdoor dining. We will have more outdoor dining audits coming soon. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye now. Okay, so I showed you a bad one. Now I'm gonna show you a good one. This gets a 10 out of 10 actually outdoors dining score. So this is one of those little huts that you see on the street. There are a number of things that give this a 10 out of 10 outdoor dining. So the first is that it doesn't protrude out so far into the street that it actually blocks the lane. You'll notice that it is going out into the street. However, it's pretty lined up with where people park on the side of the road. So if you're one of those people that's going to crash into something, you would have crashed into a car anyway. It's not like it's protruding really far out into the street. It has a roof and it has the floor, obviously, of the, you know, of the, the tar. But 
it does not have any walls. So this side over here, I can put my arm through. This side over here, I can put my arm through. This side over here, I can also walk through. There is no door, there is no lock, there is no locking this because it's actually outside. And over here, as you can see, I can put my arm through this as well. So on every single side of this structure, I can enter or exit, I can put my arm through it because we're actually outside. So this gets a 10 out of 10 outdoor dining score. It does have a roof up here for when it is raining, but since you have no walls on other, either side, it can be reasonably said that you are outdoors. Therefore, if you are eating here, you're not breathing in recirculated air, so you are less likely to spread COVID than you would if you are inside. So I would give this a genuine 10 out of 10 on the audit of outdoor dining score. I will be doing more of these videos. I am going to be coming up with a rating system for these from 1 to 10 from what is indoors versus outdoors. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.